cruel. I meant to say cool, and then I started to say great. Right. Well, cruel. Hey, do you have a pencil I could borrow? Well, there's this guy in my calculus class. Who is it? It's a senior. His name's Aaron Samuels. <gasps> no. 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 Oh, no. You can't like Aaron Samuels. For the last 15 years, every single day, almost every day. I get recognized as Aaron Samuels. Whether it's the person at Starbucks writing Aaron Samuels on your on your cup before they give it to you, and I'm like, my name's Jonathan. Or, you know, people yelling gruel or fetch, or your hair looks sexy pushback on the street. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. I think my favorite part about playing Aaron Samuels is he was so far off from who I was. Like, I grew up a theater nerd and a drama club nerd, and here I am getting to play like what I always wanted to be, which is like the cool jock guy. And I remember Tina wrote a note after the movie to me saying, you know, something along the lines of like, great work, you're great acting. I know it's not easy being jocksy all the time. Gretchen told me that you like Aaron Samuels. I mean, I don't care, do whatever you want. But let me just tell you something about Aaron. All he cares about is school and his mom and his friends. Is that bad? What I also love about Aaron Samuels is what he stands for, which is he cares about school, his friends, and his mom. And, you know, that related to me in a lot of ways because that's really what I cared about in high school. And getting to play that and kind of being the voice of reason and kind of being the person in the movie that has some heart to him, everyone else kind of is finding themselves, Aaron already knows who he is. And that's kind of a relief as an audience member. Shopping? No, no, I'm just here with my boyfriend. Joking. Sometimes older people make jokes. My Nana takes her wig off when she's drunk. Your Nana and I have that in common. Tina Fey is uh, the best there is. Like, she's just so good. Picture, you've never really worked in Hollywood and the first movie you have to go on set and say lines to in a comedy. A comedy, no less. Having done no comedy, you're with Lorne Michaels and Tina Fey. Like, what do you do? Like, you're with them. Like, you're just always nervous that you're not good enough. Having her on set was, I mean, it was awesome. And she's just, watching her work is really cool. Hey, you guys. Happy hour is from four to six. <laughs> the scene where an Amy Poehler comes in with, like, the fake margaritas and does the happy hours from four to six. I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. Like that is just, that's comedy gold. Like watching Amy Poehler do that is, I remember seeing that scene when we were shooting it and that's one of the first times when I was like, whoa, this might be a hit. Like this might be big. Like that's just so funny. Well, the first time I did it, I got a zero. Wrong. But then when I checked it, I got one. There you go. Lindsay would get really nervous before takes sometimes. And it was cute because she was only 16 or seven, I think she was 17. You know, you're kind of at that age where you're awkward and you have like fidgety things and you're tugging on your sweater all the time. And I remember she'd always tug on her sweater. She's a 16 year old kid. She wanted to like text their friends and like, you know, be a girl. She, that's what she was. She was like a kid. Check it out, Katie. It's our burn book. See, we cut out girls' pictures from the yearbook and then we wrote comments. The most important message from the movie, Mean Girls, is the message about bullying in high school. And I think Tina Fey was one of the first people to make that an okay topic to talk about and bring awareness to it and kind of open the door for that. And I think, I know as a kid growing up in Ohio, I would have liked Tina to write this a lot earlier. I want you to raise your hand if you have ever had a girl say something bad about you behind your back. I've had so many fans come up to me or message me or write me at how much this movie impacted them. I think just by bringing awareness to it and, and talking about, about it and actually just acknowledging the fact that Mean Girls exist, right there when you acknowledge that, that's what starts change. You have to acknowledge what's wrong before you can fix it. And I think Mean Girls did a great job of that. Why do you 
wear your hair like that? Your hair looks so sexy, pushback. Katie, will you please tell him his hair looks sexy, pushback? Do I really think my hair looks sexy, pushback? Yes. I mean, look at it. it. It's fantastic. Best haircut ever. Do you feel nauseous at all? No. Have you been drinking? No. <laughs> okay. Cool. By now, Aaron and Katie, Aaron would have finished college and they would have definitely sold all their belongings and moved to Mykonos. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.